So, my talk is really about uh, the economy of interactive entertainment, but not really. It's actually about the future. It's about um, homegrown uh, vision. So, I'm going to talk about an independent film industry for camera. Some people that don't know, the Academy trains people in visual effects in video game development with campuses around Australia and also overseas. Our visual effects students have worked over the last few years on some major motion pictures. So, here's the idea. Uh, this is Camera Technology Park. We managed that, we've been managing that for 20 years. Um, and we're planning to build a film studio. So, the key thing is we've been uh, talking to the community about building a higher education precinct, the student accommodation in that park you've just seen. And we're also going to bring $200 million of the visual effects movies, Hollywood movies, to Canberra and Australia. And you think this is a pipe dream? Yeah, maybe, but it's coming along pretty well. We create a lot of jobs. The interesting thing is that 90% of the community have voted recently that are saying, yes, we want to see this happen for Canberra. So shortly, we believe, we hope, the Gassity government will put out to tender all that wonderful land and buildings that we get to basically pitch for and acquire. What are we doing? We're building too far, speak with um, What we're doing is we're building um, some cool, cool things. We brought Screen Camera, which is the screen body in uh, the ACT for films, into the building. We have Dems Entertainment, which is our family company that's financing all the films. Um, from a high network guy, made money on other things. Um, we're also building uh, Greengate Visual Effects Studio, which is going to employ lots and lots of people for the creation of these films. Um, we haven't launched Film Plus. The Film Plus follows a, another brand that we've created called Game Plus. Game Plus is a co-working space for creatives that make video games. We've launched that in Canberra, we've launched that in Adelaide through the um, uh, previous uh, premiere. And we're now building this new thing called Film Plus. Lots of money is involved and we don't need to raise any of it. Uh, what are we doing? Well, one of the things we've announced is Rats to Brook by Philip Noyce, who's a pretty well-known Australian director. I'd love to tell you who the actors are, but uh, uh, it's a major movie. It'll have a budget of around about 60 to 70 million Australian dollars. Um, it will, won't be filmed in Australia, in Canberra. Um, it'll be filmed at sound stages in Australia somewhere. We're negotiating all those things. But the visual effects will be done in Canberra. We're also doing uh, a film called Chaos, which is a homegrown idea. We've been doing it's a sci-fi thriller. And uh, there's a whole bunch of work um, going on with this particular picture. Now, here's the proof statements. So, I'm in some of the pictures. Um, you might recognise uh, John Travolta, or you might recognise Margot Robbie. But maybe next door is my daughter, actually. She's an actress in LA. So, part of the reason we're doing it is because it gives her opportunities as well. Um, Philip Noyce and I announced the picture as well. So, you know, we move around. Um, we, we spend a lot of time in Hollywood setting all this up. It's quite involved. Uh, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, there's a lot of complex parts to this picture. One is obviously the educational precinct. So it involves the ACD government allowing us to acquire it, to build some limited student accommodation, to really remote, uh, modernise the buildings, get rid of the asbestos where it's located, and actually putting together you know, the visual effects studio itself. Um, there's also script writers. There's a lot of cost in what we call development. So you can develop these scripts. So there's millions of dollars involved in development. That is the production side of it. So we're spending a lot of money setting it all up, and it's, it's coming on quite well. We're hoping that we'll have our first um, feature film going into production at the end of this year, which hopefully will be counts. But there's, there's, there's about five or six contenders. So where we work is we have a slate of projects uh, that we work. We have the directors and producers and in general. And then we, the first one that gets triggered is, is quite tricky to do. Um, the way we work is we work backwards. We work with Hollywood, and we're working for feature films that will work in America. And films that wouldn't work in America, we're not interested in. So the films are also highly visual effects intensive. That's because it gives our students the opportunity to work on those pictures. And the industry is looking forward to being able to hire these students once they come out of the picture. So industry is very supportive of the whole thing. The whole thing will actually be owned by the academy. The academy is actually a not-for-profit body. So it actually will become something a camera will own. And I will get the pleasure of seeing it happen. Thanks very much.